test it right now that you were doing. I'm testing the different solvents. Did you show the solvent? One. Yeah, to see which one is the best for the specific solid that we're trying to crystallize and purify. So you have to get three different ones ranging in polarities. These ones are given to us in the first experiment so that you can see differences on like what a good one looks like, what too, too much solubility looks like, and what the perfect solubility looks like. So we have, can you see that, that print with the dark background like that? I don't know if you need to. So we have water, yeah. There you go. There you go. Ethanol, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and hexane. Polarities. So that you can tell the differences. So what you actually want in a good solvent is that a, an increasing solubility as you raise the temperature, and a decreasing solubility as you decrease the temperature. So. At room temperature, it should be what they call sparingly soluble. You should still have some solid in the actual so to give solvent. A better example of the ranging in polarities, we are using a superpolar water, a kind of intermediate polarity with ethanol, and then a very nonpolar hexane, so that you can actually see the differences instead of the toluene, which still has a little bit of a polar group on it. So, if it's ranging appropriately, this one would be the sparingly soluble. That doesn't. That's not soluble at all. And this one would be too soluble at room temperature. So let's see if it dissolves all the way. So with our ranging polarities, we can see which one is the most soluble, least soluble, and perfectly right in the middle. If you bring it over here, the water. Once again, it doesn't. It's not soluble enough at room temperature whatsoever. You have giant chunks. The ethanol. In this case, you have. It's very sparingly soluble. You can see the little chunks in the bottom. Whereas compared to the water which is non dissolved. And then the hexane, there it's all dissolved at room temperature. So we uh, yeah, this one would be too soluble. So uh, now in order to test both of them you would have to heat them up and see if in increasing temperatures they become more or less soluble. So um, we'll do that with each one. So you can see when the water is heated up to almost boiling point, simmering point, that it still does not dissolve very much. It does not have increased solubility with increased temperatures, so that one we can rule out as being good. You can see that the ethanol, when you heated it up to about um, boiling temperature, that it's all dissolved in there, right? Looks like it's all, yep, there we go, all dissolved. And uh, the toluene, it doesn't really do it, or the hexane, excuse me, doesn't really do anything because it's already all dissolved, so if you heat it up, can't really dissolve anymore, so that didn't do anything. So we know that out of increased solubility uh, with temperature, the best one is going to be ethanol for our solvent of choice. Let me turn that off.